The three modes of material nature. The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, Again I shall declare to you, you, this Supreme Wisdom, the best of all knowledge, knowing which all, say, all the sages have attained the Supreme Perfection. By becoming fixed in this knowledge, one can attain the transcendental nature like my own. Thus established, one is not born at the time of creation or disturbed at a time of dissolution. The total material substance called Brahman is the source of birth, and it is that Brahman that I impregnate, making it possible the births of all living beings of some of Aharata. It should be understood that all species of life of some Kunti are made possible by birth in this material nature, and that I am the seed given father. Material nature consists of three modes, goodness, passion, and ignorance. When the eternity, eternal living entity comes in contact with nature, O mighty Arn Arjuna, he becomes conditioned by these modes. O sinless one, the mode of goodness being clearer than others is illuminating, and it frees one from all sinful reactions. Those situated in that mode become conditioned by a sense of happiness and knowledge. The mode of passion is born of unlimited desire and mom beings, O son of Kunti, and because of this, a body living entity is bound to material, primitive actions, O son of Aharata. Know that the mode of darkness, born of ignorance, is this, the, the delusion of all embodied living entities. The results of this mode are madness, imbalance, and sleep, which bind the condition to soul. O son of Aharata, the good mode of goodness conditions one to happiness, passion conditions one to primitive action, and ignorance covering one's knowledge binds one to madness. Sometimes the mode of goodness becomes prominent, defeating the modes of passion and ignorance, O son of Aharata. Sometimes the mode of passion defeats goodness and ignorance, and at other times ignorance defeats goodness and passion. In this way, there is always competition for Supremacy. The manifestation of the mode of goodness can be experienced when all the gates of the body are illuminated by knowledge. When there is an increase in the mode of ignorance of son of Kuru, darkness, inertia, madness, and illusion are manifested. When one dies in the mode of goodness, he attains to the pure higher planets of the great sages. When one dies in the mode of passion, he takes birth among those engaged in primitive activities. And when one dies in the mode of ignorance, he takes birth in the animal kingdom. The result of highest action is fear, and is said to be in the mode of goodness. But action done, done in the mode of passion results in misery, and action performed in the mode of ignorance results in foolishness. From the mode of goodness, real knowledge develops. From the mode of passion, greed develops. And from the mode of ignorance develops foolishness, madness, and illusion. Those situated in the mode of goodness gradually go upward to the higher planets. Those in the mode of passion live on the earthly planets, and those in the abominable mode of ignorance go down to the hellish worlds. When one properly sees that in all activities no other performer is at work than these modes of nature, and he knows the Supreme Lord, who is transcendental to all of these modes, he attains my spiritual nature. When the embodied being is able to transcend at least three modes as if he do with the material body, he can become free from birth. Death, old age, and their distresses, and can enjoy nectar even in this life. Arjuna inquired, O oh, my dear Lord, by which of symptoms is one known who is transcendental to these three modes? What is his behavior, and how does he transcend the modes of nature? The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, O Sama Pandu, he who does not hate illumination, attachment, and illusion, when they are present or long for them, when they disappear, who is unwavering and undisturbed through all these reactions of material qualities, remaining neutral and transcendental, knowing that the modes alone are active, who is situated in the self and regards alike happiness and distress, who looks upon a lump of earth, a stone, and a piece of gold from equal high, who is equal toward the desirable and the undesirable, and who is steady, situated equally well in praise and blame, honor and dishonor, who treats alike with a friend and enemy, and who has renounced all material activities, such a person is said to have trans transcended the modes of nature. One who engages in full devotional service and failing in circumstances at once transcends the modes of material nature and thus comes to the level of Brahman. And I am the basis of the impersonal Brahman, which is immortal, imperishable, and eternal, and is the constitutional possession of ultimate happiness.